I'm John Florida, Vice President for Government Relations, the American Chiropractic Association. Standing here with our good friend and colleague, Rick Miller. As you can see today, we're up on Capitol Hill. We're outside the Rayburn Building on a steamy, hot, early summer day here in Washington. And while the weather outside is hot, not quite as hot inside as many members are, are talking about this, this whole thing about the budget, as, as we've been talking about all year to our viewers, the budget has really been uh, issue numero uno on Capitol Hill, and it, and it looks like it's going to go that way for at least a couple more weeks. Let's talk a little bit about that. Sure, John. Uh, and I was going to say that as hot as it is out here, as you've already yeah. noted, there's at least one room somewhere where I think it's hotter, where the Democrat leadership, the Republicans in the White House are trying to hash out their differences to get a vote to raise the debt ceiling. You know, the deadlines are, they're tossing around for this uh, are early August. That only leaves us about six weeks or so before that deadline rolls around. I think for three of those weeks, one or the other House of Congress is going to be on recess. They don't have much time to right. get a deal done. I think they're week. at loggerheads on this. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a really painful exercise, even if they manage to agree to something. I think everyone will have to hold their noses at this. Mm -hmm. I can't see this pleasing anyone. Now, the impact, of course, for us and why this is important is not just for the broad economy as a whole, but the two biggest drivers here are the entitlement programs, mm -hmm. Medicare and Medicaid. So when you're talking about trillions of dollars at stake, those two programs, who knows how that's going to impact the future there and what it means for chiropractors and our patients in those two big programs. We'll certainly keep an eye on that, a close eye on that, as that, as that evolves. Uh, Rick, let's talk about a couple of things. That, uh, one, one that came out of uh, uh, HHS uh, late last week, and this was this National Prevention Strategy and this was a 144-page uh, document uh, that was released again by HHS that uh, in the group that put out this report was uh, the heads of several uh, relevant departments and agencies and so forth. One of the big things in this report was the recognition, for, from what I understand for the first time, of the term spinal manipulation and its benefits to the patient public stating in there that spinal manipulation uh, is a great element in the relief of pain and discomfort of patients and they're going to look even more into uh, research for um, uh, complementary and, and alternative uh, uh, treatments. I think this is a very huge, yes. uh, I don't want to say a win, but a very huge breakthrough for our profession because it's being recognized. And one of the things also is that they did not box us in a corner with that term chiropractic care. Let's talk a little bit about that. Well, John, you're exactly on point on this. And I apologize, men and ladies, the sweat's running into my <laughs> eyes here. But this report, there's a lot in it. Yeah. But think about what it means. It's a prevention strategy. It's forward-looking. And while it has a lot in it, it does, in fact, mention spinal manipulation. And I think this is a very positive development. Again, is it the major part of the report? It's only part of it, but it's a significant part. It's very significant. Good thing for us. And let's uh, stay. Let's stay uh, in in the Congress, as, as you said. Uh, uh, the House is out next week. The Senate is in. Uh, since we've last talked to you, we've had a bill introduced in the Senate, S. 1147, yes. the Chiropractic Care for All Veterans Act, introduced by Senator Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut. That's already in committee. They've already talked about it in committee, and a great compliment. In fact, the language is exactly the same as the Filner bill in the House. Right. Great breakthrough for us. I think it's a it's an excellent step forward, John. You know. We're not in every uh, Department of Veterans Affairs major health facility yet. This is what this legislation would do, part of it. And this is a significant step, I think, in showing progress here on the Hill. And I believe we're eventually going to get there. I think we're going to crack through the resistance to expanding chiropractic care. There are some budget issues that have to be dealt with, but we're going to get there. And I'm thrilled that someone of the caliber of Senator Blumenthal introduced this over in the Senate. It's I, a I good know choice. Very a chiropractic champion up there in, in Connecticut. And you can help us uh, in this effort uh, by contacting your senator and asking them, urging them 
to co-sponsor S1147. You can do that with just a couple of mouse clicks going to the Legislative Action Center, the Cairo Voice Legislative Action Center at acatoday.org slash LAC. Takes you right there. You'll see the issues lined up. you see S1147. Again, just a couple of mouse clicks and you can make your voice heard here on Capitol Hill. Rick, let's get inside to some air conditioning. It's going to be a long, hot summer here on Capitol Hill. We'll keep you involved and keep you informed every step of the way. Thank, Thank you, my you, friend. Thank you, my friend. Godspeed.